Uh, well, we are going to make a start. You may have noticed in the programme that the timings are pretty crazy. And that is because we're going to keep to extreme timings. So we've got five minutes to introduce the session and then hand over to Penny, minus about two minutes of faffing. Um, so um, thank you very much for coming. Sorry, it's a little bit squishy in here. Uh, our session is New Feminisms, Radical Post-Humanist Archaeologies. We um, ran this session uh, earlier this year at um, US TAG in Syracuse, uh, and we're really excited to be running it uh, again at UK TAG and sort of adding and changing and, uh, and, and developing it more. Do you want to talk a bit about the intellectual stuff? <laughs> um, I would also add, in the madness of US TAG, uh, we ran a session in Syracuse uh, where only British archaeologists oh, spoke, yes. <laughs> which was amazing in and of itself. Uh, but this time we've got North American archaeologists to speak as well, which is even more mad and mashed up. So this session was born in the... oh, it doesn't click forward like that. Let's try this one. I'll work this. You chat. Go okay. Uh, this session was born in a conversation between Hannah and I about the way in which we see kind of general contemporary society as having quite a feministy zeitgeist at the minute. People are talking about issues like Me Too and Time's Up, decolonizing practices, and all these kind of things are coming together and having an increasing kind of force and momentum. More people identify as feminists now than have done in many recent years, and uh, those of you who teach students will know that lots and lots of them are very into these kinds of issues. And we felt that archaeological theory was strangely separate from that at the moment. Um, we felt that those things weren't kind of coming up in the same space. And this frustrated Hannah and I because we both love post-human feminism and we see actually a huge amount of overlap between these two kind of things that are happening. And in particular, we'd kind of say that uh, some of the kind of post-anthropocentric or non-anthropocentric or relational approaches that are gaining lots of traction in archaeology have perhaps at times begun to lose slightly the radical nature that's behind a lot of this theory and some of the really kind of political radicalness is kind of being almost toned down or slightly ignored. And you see that in the critique of things like post-humanism where people talk about the fact that they say, oh, you guys don't talk about power or social inequality. And for Hannah and I, this was completely counterintuitive because the reason that we do this is because of things like power and social inequality. So we wanted to run a session where we were going to really talk about the explicitly kind of political and feminist nature of post-humanist thinking. And so it was born. Hannah. Hi. Hey. So um, uh, we will proceed immediately with the, the session uh, because we thought we set the papers as being 15 minutes because we really want to have loads of discussion. Uh, in this. So what we're going to do is just have one question after each paper uh, and then we've got um, uh, 10 minutes at the end of the first half for discussion and, and quite a bit of time at the end of the second half for discussion. So it's all good. Speakers, I will give you a, an enthusiastic wave with my book uh, about two minutes before the end of the session. I'll be sitting there next to them uh, and, uh, and then I'll give you a really enthusiastic wave when we get to the end of 